Yes, hi again. Good morning. It's me again, Meli Kachim. And today we'll still continue to talk about uh, Rukian games. And uh, at my previous lectures, uh, for my previous sessions, we will talk about, uh, we'll be talking about like uh, field door positions, uh, last of defense positions, all pretty much famous positions when you have to defend the palm uh, from behind. Now, it's different situations. Now, we'll talk about situations when the defensive side has to defend themselves uh, by having their rook uh, in front of the pawn. So, uh, what's the rules uh, works here? Um, again, a couple of things. Obviously, as I have mentioned before, uh, the rook must always have at least three lines between uh, rook and the pawn. So as we see here, we do have three ranks. So we have uh, three ranks, and we have a chance to defend ourselves against the uh, pawn who comes to queen. Now, a typical mistake uh, was happening in these cases. Uh, I've been seeing this many, many times. So many players only know one type of defense. What they do here, they do king c2. It's actually happened in a game between two Russian uh, uh, masters uh, from 1999. So after King C2, what they know, you know, one famous plan uh, is to play Rook D1, uh, trade the Rooks, and uh, take the game to the you know, possible um, Rook, I mean, pawn end game, which is completely wrong. One thing you have to know here, it's very simple. Well, first of all, right here, um, the way how you're supposed to make a draw is to make a check because we have a three lines, as I said, and it's good enough for me to attack the king since king has no progress. If you do back, uh, say, if you play back king e6, I play back on e1. So if you try to improve position by playing king g4, make some possible progress, I still attack your pawn, and now uh, you must play, let's say, king f4, then another check from f1, and right here, and when you go back and say, when you try to play king g3 to make, let's say, his last kind of progress, then rook e1 uh, forcing you to play uh, rook d5, and now we have uh, king c4 attacking the rook and pretty much forcing ourselves to get it an easy draw. Because if you look, uh, let's say, last control of d file, my king could simply join by playing king d3. And my king and my rook will both attack the pawn and will be no progress from black side and will be simply draw. So that means in original position, why it's supposed to play rook f1? Now, check this out. So why again, you didn't know that. They played here king c2, which is a mistake. And um, I mean they didn't play king c2, but many people do the same thing, same mistakes. Why played here rook h1? Now, now second mistake came from black. First of all, they didn't play here e4. Again, if you have a two file difference, then it's a simple win. After playing e4, I mean, it's simple win for black because we have now two files, I mean, two ranks, I'm sorry, two ranks, not of two files, and that's not going to be enough for white to defend. Because if you see from frontal attack, uh, uh, if, from in front, it's a two, file, a two ranks, from the sides, it's still two, uh, I mean, two files now, because if you try to attack uh, from sides, we we'll still have a G file and F file only. That means it's not going to be enough for white to defend this position. It's a simple last. So, Rook H1 was terrible move as well as a reaction from black side. They haven't played here E4 for I don't know for what reason. They played King E6. I guess uh, they were trying to defend themselves uh, maybe by using the e pawn as a, as a shield, but it's a, it's a completely wrong. Now, why kick it out their mistake and they play immediately back on e1, which is right move. So black holding, uh, rook b8, and now typical mistakes which pretty much appear the same position as from the beginning, only difference is the black rook uh, from d7 moved to d8. And now that's the mistake I would like to uh, pay your attention right here, right now. So, uh, white player made the move here, king c2, which is a typical mistake, again, because by hoping to play rook you one and try to take the game to the uh, pawn end game. Now, what you have to understand, in situation, when you're having your rook in front of the pawn, uh, by having three ranks differential, 
and let's say your king is cut by one file only, the best position for defensive king is always to stay on the third and the fourth rank. Not the fifth, not the second, it's only the third and the fourth rank. That's the law. Reason? Because you're trying to always uh, keep your eye on d5 square at this point to make sure the rook will not have playing rook d5 to defend the pawn and the king will be free to march and support the pawn to be promoted. That's the law. That's the law you must simply memorize forever. I mean, many players, I noticed, many players making the same mistakes. They playing here as happening in a game, king c2, and that's completely wrong, wrong move. You can't do that because the way how you lose this game, it's very simple. King f5, I'm trying to uh, simply improve my king. And as soon as I reach, let's say, g3 square, when you have rook e1 done, then we have simply a rook d5. And that's the move which kills you. Because now, imagine if your king would be here on the third rank, you would have a move king c4. Since you king of the second rank, you're in trouble because uh, if you try to advance your king, and let's say, hoping for this streak, then we have rook d4 check, and now my rook is defended, and I will simply pick up the rook for free. And since you don't, you don't have a move king c4, you lost because uh, whatever you do, let's say if you play, uh, I don't know, king c3, king f2, let's say you play rook e4, then I play king f3, and same problem because you have to go back on e1, and after e4, as I mentioned before, now we have just the two ranks, and it's not going to be enough for white to defend this position. That's again typical mistake uh, what's happening here with many, many players because they don't understand uh, how to defend properly in this position. They have no clue. Again, keep your king on the third and the fourth rank in situation when your rook has to defend position uh, from in front and when your king just caught by one file only. Now, uh, to continue this lecture a little bit, I would put the position, let's say from either position, if we try to, let's say, have position uh, by having our king cut by two files, let me clear this board, um, and I'll show you something else. Uh, let's say if we have one here, clear this board. Put the king, for instance, uh, rook on e1, uh, king on b3, um, pretty much the same position, very similar, I would say. Uh, but only difference with uh, now we have two files uh, cut. But again, we try to keep the king on the I mean kind of position the best for us. Uh, king in the third or fourth, fourth rank. But the problem is, let's say if you do uh, king before to control c5 square, which is the best try for you. The way how you lose, uh, it's a king f5. We're trying to improve. It's also again many many players they don't know the way how we're supposed to win here. The difference is why it's important to files because now we have the move rook e8. Now we put the rook behind, and when you try to help your rook, we unfortunately losing here because of this king f3. Now obviously going back on e1 doesn't make any sense since we have e4. We're trying to attack from sides. Uh, rook h4, and now we get back to idea by playing rook b8. We are cutting the king. And the problem is again we have just two files difference between uh, between my rook and uh, and the enemy's pawn. So that's why we are losing here. That's the reason why it doesn't work this type of defense uh, in these situations. Now uh, I will continue this lecture again. Uh, now I'm going to put another position here. So again I'm going to try to clear uh, this board. Again, two grandmasters, uh, well, we all know who was Robert Fisher. Uh, now, the Sherman, uh, I'm not sure who was Sherman exactly, but I'm sure he was an grandmaster because um, the game has been uh, appear in uh, in Kazona tournament, uh, like I said, in back to 1958. So, right here, with Black's turn, Black made here move King E6. Again, 
typical mistakes because at this point uh, they should play they should play here rook a8 because uh, the g pawn is the worst pawn to defend and they're supposed to play here rook a8 immediately trying to put the king um i mean the rook uh, to attack from the front in fact to try to shrink this as i play g5 then we have the streak by playing rook f8 uh, by taking the game to rook end games and having a draw so unfortunately for why they can't play here g5 so if you try to play king h4 to make a progress then we have a check and this is draw because uh, again there is no progress uh, for for white right here so black again I, i'm not going to say uh, if they knew or they don't they didn't know so they played here king e6 i, I guess they, they knew maybe positions uh, how to keep the king um, on the third or fourth frame but this is a different situation it's not um, as we discussed in previous positions. So after king e6, king h4, rook a8, g5, now the problem is I don't have rook f8 move, and now my king simply cut, and now it's lost because after rook h8 check, now we're simply losing here because my pawn is too advanced and uh, that's a trick which, uh, guys, you're supposed to know. It's rook f5. It's a really important move right here in these positions. And that's why uh, black, has, uh, black is losing here. Because pawn endgame is simply losing. Uh, we have to play because we are in Tutsuan. We must play uh, rook h8. And now, after this, uh, it's simply lost because uh, let's, pretty much any move, uh, Fischer choose here. Uh, rook f2, and that's also lost because I mean, after this, uh, let's say rook g1 check, I'm playing king h6, and uh, there's no way you can defend uh, this position because the king on the wrong side, I mean, it's, it's just a bad position, it's, it's lost. So, after king g5, uh, black tried here, I mean, after rook f2, I'm sorry, uh, black tried here, uh, rook h3, but it's still, you don't have them a lot because after this. We are simply winning by building the, the bridge and winning the game. So again, um, let's clarify. Uh, what's the typical mistake here? Uh, again, in this case, when you are uh, playing against knight pawn, against the G or B pawn, and your king caught uh, in, in the middle of the board on E file at this point, right? So the way how you're supposed to play, how you're supposed to defend, quickly play here on A8. So making sure you have still uh, three ranks between your rook and the pawn, and also threatening to play here uh, rook f8. That's pretty much uh, your only way to, I mean, to defend this position, to defend this position. Otherwise, you simply lost. Obviously, I would say if we will put the uh, white king uh, in the, uh, let's say, in the original position uh, on h4, I would say actually this is not, it's not defendable because if you put the king on h4, then uh, I think it's, uh, I don't know, actually, I think it's defendable. Let's say if you, king on h4, rook a8, uh, it's still a threat is to play to rook f8, and it's still, uh, it's still uh, pretty much an idea to make, a, to make a draw. That's the only chance for black to defend this position. Otherwise, uh, as I said, you will simply lose this uh, again. Um, also, I would suggest here uh, to find the recent game, uh, kind of to continue this stream. It's actually a bit of a game, uh, I think I saw it uh, in this year uh, from Turkey, a world championship, team world championship between, uh, between Indian Grandmaster um, uh, Sasha Kiran against uh, Leona Royal. It was a really interesting uh, end game, uh, again, versus g -Pon. And Aronian actually also made a few mistakes and he lost this uh, pretty much strategic composition. So it's important for you guys to understand the principles, how you're supposed to defend these uh, positions and not making uh, mistakes in the uh, future. Well, um, I hope you understood and we'll continue to talk about um, common mistakes uh, in Rook Endgames in our uh, future lectures. Uh, thank you and uh, have a nice day.